Hello, welcome back to the Superintendent's Two Minute Drill. Spring is here, which means we start to celebrate our music and art. We really invest in our students as far as the fine arts. We feel like that's very important. This is a time where we highlight our students and we have music showcases where we see all city students performing their musical talents in our schools. So make sure that you visit our school websites and see exactly when your student or your student friends will be performing. We also will have our art festival, which is actually on March 30th at, from 10 to 2 p.m. at Nazmin River High School. Hope that you're able to join us. This is a good time to celebrate our students' successes. The end of the third nine weeks is approaching really soon. We have spring break April 15th through the 19th. This is a good time for students to earn those community service hours. We were one of the first school divisions to require students to earn community service hours before they graduate. We feel like it's important for students to know early on it's important to give back to the community and they're also learning different skills as they've earned these community service hours. During our last school board meeting we honored our honor grads from Kings Fork High School. We love to honor our honor grads during school board meetings so look forward to seeing Lakeland and Nazmin River honor grads being highlighted as well. We pride ourselves in investing in mental health awareness. In fact we have our last session of More Than Sad coming up at Kings Fork Middle School on March 27th at 6 p.m. Be sure and take advantage of that and find out just a little bit more information about raising the awareness of mental wellness. In fact, we have committed to working and partnering with Western Tidewater Community Service Board. We've also have case managers and therapeutic day treatment in many of our schools. And we also have crisis counselors for any student who perhaps needs to take advantage of those services. It is a safety issue and it helps keep our students safe. So make sure that you take advantage of these sessions that are coming out and also information that we post on our website. Recently, our school board approved the proposed budget, so now we turn it over to our city council. The city council, in turn, will hopefully adopt the budget, fully fund it, bring it back to us, and then we will adopt the budget based on what we receive from the city council. This is an important budget because it focuses on three main things salaries for all staff members and increase the salaries as well as an OSS center called the focus center where we can keep students in school as well as the Excel Academy for students who may not have been successful in the traditional classroom. These items were included in the budget because we feel like it's important to maintain, retain, and also recruit quality staff members as well as making sure that we have programs that meet the needs of our diverse student population. Also want to talk about two special celebrations. One, our Project Lead the Way programs at Lakeland and Nazmin River both received a distinguished distinction. Be sure and check out our website. You can find out all the details. But we're also going to be highlighting our Teachers of the Year. Make certain that you check out the videos and come perhaps to the banquet that we'll have for our Teachers of the Year. Congratulations to all of our Teachers of the Year. But most importantly, thank you parents for your involvement, and I'll see you next time.